Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Mr. Balelish and in today's episode we are going to keep following Nefrikari here as he tries to finally get his weathered skulls. I did a miscalculation in the last episode. I said we needed three more, but actually we need seven more, I think. So we are going to have to go get them. It has come to my attention that the golems are very weak against star metal. Maybe that's the problem that happened with our golems last time. So we are going to give the golems another try. But we are going to craft a full stone one this time to see how the base golem works out for us. So let's get this going. Here we already have most of the materials that we're going to need. I did some farming, just some basic materials, stone fibers for the stone consolidant and stuff like that. Let's start with the stone guardian torso. All right. And we're going to need a head. Let's craft one of those. We're going to need two legs. One, two. And we're going to need two arms that we don't have stone for. One arm, one head. We just need one more arm. Ooh. Also, with the arm, we already crafted the two-handed iron sword. Let's turn in, turn this golem into a sword-wielding one. Cool. And now I have no idea what this does, but it's going to be a tar head golem. Okay, we're missing some tar for the second leg. Which is fine. Let's go get some. We should have plenty here. Just 40. And then up we go once again. So we have stone guardian tar torso, leg, head. Let's make another tar leg. And then the arms, we don't have the tar thing. I have no idea what it does. Let's get our golem crafted. So this is a full stone golem. Has decent armor, has decent health. It should do fine. Tar coating in combat creates flammable pools of tar. I assumed that the tar would do something of that sort, so I did craft two demon fire orbs. We already have our alchemist ready and working. Autonomously harvests corpses. Do you guys think they, he has a better chance of gathering skulls than I do? I'm not sure if I want to risk that. But anyway, let's get this golem crafted. So Moonraven in the comments told me that the golems are weak against star metal. So we're going to try not to take this guy onto the Mounds of the Dead and get him killed. Alright, can you follow me, big boy? We are going gather some skulls. Information, uh, not information, just go here, yeah. I did craft the demon fire orbs so I can check it at him when he's fighting. Hopefully he doesn't take any fire damage. Here you can see the demon fire orbs. We already had some volatile glands. We have our alchemist working. We just crafted two. It's something that we just want to test out. Also, we had two extra specter coatings lying around for some reason. So I'm going to take those as well with me. And we are going to get going. All right, Corpse Mirror, let's get going. Swiftly and with style. No. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, we are arriving at the King's Niche. Let's just leave the horse down here. Our golem should be following us shortly. Yeah. Our golem is arriving. He already took a little beating because I stopped to farm some coal and he got in a fight with a one skull bear. That was my bad. Let's, let's leave a bedroll here because if I die I don't want to go all, all the way back. And let's try and get the big boy up here and fighting these skeletons to see if we can do anything useful out of the situation. I slowed or because of the tar? Mm. 
Okay, that didn't go too badly. Let's try the hatchet. We do have a hardened steel one that we got in the Mounds of the Dead. Okay, no skull there. Let's drink a potion as well. Okay. Oops, two of them are coming. Let's try one of the orbs here. Let's see if we damage our own golem. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if it's damaging the skeletons. At the very least it's not damaging the golem, which is, I guess, good news. This this does hurt me, right? Well, not really. Let's get some skulls. Oh yeah, we got one. Well, we got one. We're also getting a lot of bone. Okay, this, the tar pool is a bit annoying, not gonna lie. We did get a skull out of that guy already, and no more, okay. Uh, let's give this guy all the scrap. Now let's try something here that might be a bit dumb, but I like them ideas, so... Go there. Try to just disrupt these guys. the skull I was thinking maybe taking this guy down to the boss, but I already realized that's not gonna happen. But it's fine. He is the the stone golem, full stone pieces, so I did expect him to be a little bit weaker. I'm not sure if the edge is the way to go here. Let's try... Hmm. Maybe they actually is the way to go. We have four weathered skulls. It's not enough still. And our golem is almost dead. 
Okay, there's a couple more here. Another withered skull. Another withered skull, okay. We have the seven we need. That is great news. Really great news. The boss is down there. We might try him out. I mean, this golem has served its use. Let's just go put all this, these bones and stuff on the, on the horse and see how he fares against uh, the big boy over there. I do have some spectre coating that I'm going to use to poison the stuff. What I'm going to do is take the stuff from the golem because let's be honest it might die on this next one and let's go and try and kill the boss. I don't think he has enough HP to even get close but can he come up here? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Okay. I was just explaining that I didn't expect this to go well, and you just moved me. What the? Ouch, ouch. Okay. And now all we can do is wait and hope that our golem is way stronger than we think he is. Maybe you run some interference? No. Stuck here. I'm not your step bro, but I am going to help you out here. Getting unstuck. Okay. Okay, he got unstuck, which is bad news for us. Maybe if he was full health, we would have a chance. This that slow is brutal. Let's just, just go get your yoinky stuff. Yoink. 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 And yoink. And now, oh, more. And now we run away. Come Guardian, we won't be able to take that guy on. I thought we would deal a little bit more damage. I know that with that HP... Okay, run away, run away, keep running. I know that with that HP you're not going to be of much use to me any longer, but... You might yet still be of use. Let's grab our bedroll. We did get a bunch of 
gold and gold coins and stuff like that. And let's get going back to base. We are arriving back at home. Okay, seven weathered skulls that gives us a total of 20, which is exactly what we needed. Raise dead. Call of the dead and what of our raise dead. Okay, so that's the zombie ones I ass I'm assuming. What's next? Grey Lotus Power, Demon Blood, and Sorcerer's Spell Page. We don't have a Sorcerer's Spell Page right now, uh, but we we do have the ability to get zombies now. And for that, I am going to have to build the zombie area. We are leaving the base right now to go get some resources, but this time we're going to do it the proper sorcery way. Okay. Oh, that's a big boy. Can our golem even take care of him? These guys get poisoned, right? Almost got me there. They do not get poisoned. Oh, but they do poison. It's going to be a close one. But I do want to farm in this area, so even if we didn't want the resources from this guy, we probably should kill them. Easy. Never worried. Demon blood, silver, coal, gold. Well, I mean, interesting mix of resources, all of which we can use, which so it's great. Here does seem like a good place to do it. Let's go here. Raw forces of raw nature. Escalate. And harvest and recalls minerals to the area. Alright. Where's our horse? We need you. Yes, come here, buddy. Corpse smear. Wait, stop that. Uh, too heavy. Uh, uh. Oh, that's a lot of resources. Cool. Did it get the trees as well? 
Oh, it's already full. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm I'm digging this. I do believe that if we come over here, we might have a similar sim similar yield. Alright. That's a lot of stuff. We get resin, wood, we get a bit of each, right? Got a lot of stone. We, we will have to use this guy as a carrying mule. Okay, let's go back to base. We did farm a lot of resources with the those spells. We used the spell twice and we got a lot of stuff. Which is great. Now we are going to go back. Once again, arriving at base with an inventory full of resources. And it was really quick and really easy, so I know I know I do have the times two bonus on this server, but I'm thinking I might need the carrying, not a thrall because I don't want thralls walking around. But there's camels and the rhinos or the elephants. I'm not sure. I sh I need a, a carrying follower. So if you guys have any ideas of a cool one that I could use for Neferkari, that I'm not thinking of, just feel free to give me the suggestion, and I will be very thankful. And now we have to drag ourselves uh, and clean this this mess. Okay. So we have built our crypt. It is below our base, a dungeon-like structure. It's really cool, if you don't mind me saying so. Right now we need to populate it. It's very empty for a dungeon. Dungeon needs people in there or zombies at the very least. So let's try and get some of these guys one of them is an archer so just going to break line of sight here and we're going to get this fighter too and he's down now let's just grab him and i'm going to show you the crypts right now We have two entrances for our crypts, one from the top and one from the bottom. We're going from the bottom here. Doesn't look like much from the outside, it's just blocked this entire area. Doesn't have any windows because it's a crypt. We come in here and this is our first shallow grave. Let's put this guy in here. Okay, let me before we do the ritual, let me show you the rest of the of the crypt. Can go up here there's still some work to do here on this side we have another grave there's a piece missing here maybe we can just quickly fix that no we don't have any materials on us i'll have to fix that next time we have another grave here and another one here so those are our four graves. I know that we don't need this this many because one is enough to can hold I think three guys. But it's a crypt. I cannot have a crypt with only one grave. And over here you can see the wheel of pain. This is where we're going to train our thralls from now on. It's a nice and secure area. If we keep coming up there's a couple of rooms here. I am not sure what to do with those with these rooms yet. So if you have any ideas, feel free to share. This um, may be some cooking area for the gruel, something like that. And then we have our top entrance to our dungeon. It's quite thematic. That's why I like it. Let's get some materials to make a quick fix of a couple of things there. Whoops. 
and we will get our very first zombie which marks the stage where we can actually start tackling a little bit harder content let's see what this is made of let's see what this zombie is made of Cool, my man. You are now a loyal servant. Let's see your stats. So, 2000 HP. It's not a lot. But it is based on a low level guy. So, let's just. Oh, no, I want you to be following me. Sorry. Let's go get your friend. I don't want you to be aggressive yet. That's uh, behavior. Like nothing. So you only attack what I tell you to attack. Now we're going to get this archer. And she's down. I... Yeah. Let's just do a couple of these trips to get our zombie numbers up and maybe train a warrior thrall. I know we're not going to use them. Uh, but part of the journey steps we need to get a warrior thrall and we need to train them up to level 20 for the next one I think. So we are going to have to do that, but then we'll have a surprise for him once he re reaches level 20. Still thinking on how I'm going to go on about that one. I've been avoiding coming to the den because of those hyenas. They're quite tough and there's not much to gain from them. But now that we have the the zombies, I'm not sure what kind of HP this one has. Four thousand, so it did roll a little bit better on the on the stamina on the vitality. So let's see if we can get someone to follow us here. All right. So that hyena is following us, and the guy as well. I'm going to tell our guys to attack the hyena, and we're going to knock the guy out. Oh, they made short work of the hyena. That is really, really good news for us. I am assuming you guys eat feral flesh, do you? You don't. You don't eat feral flesh. Okay, you putrid meat, demon blood. Okay, I mean, you can carry it. So this is a fighter, too. Let's get our next zombie. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm liking this. It's been a long time since we felt a little bit powerful. Neferkari is finally able to just come into the den without fearing for his own life. Okay, what are you? Fighter 2. We're going to be our fourth. Oops. I'm taking the, the zombie. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. You're 
kind of looking at your future here. I'm sorry, it's not a very bright future. I wish I could say it could be worse, but being sacrificed to become a zombie on the service of an evil sorcerer doesn't get much worse than that. We are able to get four zombies following us at any time because we do have max authority by now. Oops. Yeah, engagement and a techno. Okay, so the next one, the next warrior we get, we will convert them so we get the the journey step done. Do I want a bearer? If it's a name bearer, I might want to. Let's see what we have here coming for us. So the performer we don't want. Is knocked down and that's a, a barrel three. We might get some something good out of him. Let's get this poor guy and what happened to you? We got almost no human flesh with the cleaver. That's a bit weird. Let's open the supply materials right away. 500 ivory and some belts. That's not bad. Ivory is not one of those resources that you can get very easily. And you do need it for a couple of armors. And maybe some other stuff. So I'll just hold on to that for now. Let's see if we can just quickly go around this area to see if we can... Oh, who are you? Archer 3. I don't want... I don't want to be losing time with you guys. Not sure if I want to try and kill the big dude over there. I don't have much to gain from it. Sorcerer 3 we don't need either. Thank <laughs> you. 
And now go for the Yina. Two Taskmasters, I'm not going to take either of them. If it was a three, I would take them. Got my poisons, but that's not the problem. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and take this girl. Not sure why we would want to dance her, since we are going to be running corrupted. But it is a tier 4 one, so... Alright, let's repair this. Kill the sorcerers and then go back home. out of the way guys thank you for your service very useful so far can i get a scroll here yes i can awesome Okay, let's return from the same way we came. That way we, we don't have to fight a bunch of stuff on the way out. Okay guys, this is it for this episode. It went a lot better than the last one. We finally managed to get our hands on the zombies. Those are going to be a huge help going forward. We also made a little dungeon with a crypt to store our zombies and the corpses we need for them. And we're going to end this one with yet another spell page. Let's already have the materials there. I have no idea what spell we're going to get, but let us see. Invisibility, conceal corruption and mirror mark. Okay, I think those are going to be fun to work with. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, any suggestions or comments are very welcome on the comments below, and I hope to see you next time.